Yeah, hi there. These comments are for AP. I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for uh, OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. And boy, are you working hard. And you did a speaking and writing practice test. I'm going to give you feedback on both in this video. And uh, you got your TOEFL test coming up, right? So let's look at some last minute potential problems you might be having in your writing and then uh, we can go from there. I gave you 3.25 out of 5, 21 points out of 30, right? So mainly, I think here in the 3 area, we have inconsistent facility and sentence formation and word choice. One or more of the following, this is the reason. Everything else is great. You have a great introduction, good thesis, topic sentences, supporting details. You need to control your grammar better. All right, let's take a look at one of the paragraphs to begin with. I would suggest my friend to exercise. Notice how you said singular, right? If he or she wants, I don't know which one, to lose weight. So go to Google. What is pronoun agreement? Because we can see that in this technical world, most of the people do work on computers. I'm just going to say most of the people work on computers. So they sit in front of their computers or laptops. And then maybe use a connecting word here. Therefore, they hardly do any physical work, and if people do not do any physical activity, then the fat is stored in their body leading, and don't forget the preposition leading to weight gain. For instance, four years ago, I became so fat that everyone used to tease me in my college. I found that I, notice how you shifted to present. No, it's I found I did not do any physical activity, and then maybe put a comma and you can say which is why. This is one of the reasons I gave you this score. You can't say that is why. That creates what's called a, a run-on sentence. But if you use which, this becomes a dependent clause, which is why I am becoming more and more fat, which is why I... became more and more fat. So be consistent with your verb tenses. Go to Google. Consistency and verb tenses and academic writing. Study that. Okay. Then we'll say as a result I started doing exercise every morning for half an hour and I saw significant weight loss of five kilograms in three months. Congratulations. Thus, I would suggest my friend to do the same. Okay, so that's it. If I go through every paragraph, I have to make editing changes, a lot of them. So it's hard to get higher. You can't get into the four range when you have that many errors. So that's why I scored you the way I did. Okay, let's listen to your integrated speaking that you sent me and see how you did on this. So I think with the writing, my, my last suggestion on that, I'll stop talking about that. Um, you need to control your verb tenses a little bit better. Be careful of your sentence structure and particularly what's called run-on sentences and watch out for pronoun agreement. You can learn all about these things at Google. Pronoun agreement, run-on sentences, verb tense shifts. Those are the three errors identified in that one paragraph that I corrected. Okay, let's, let's get the integrated speaking done here. So let's listen to this. In the biology lecture, the professor is discussing about seabirds. Seabirds sometimes find... I would, just, I would just say the professor discusses about instead of is discussing. So the present progressive, that's going to take you more time to use that. And I don't think you need it. I would use this simple present tense as you summarize other people's information. This is important for academic writing and academic speaking. 
uh, find very hard to uh, locate particular food so they have some adaptations uh, special adaptations in order to locate food they have some adaptations so i think with that multisyllabic word you're not clearly pronouncing the p's and the t sounds be careful go over to the pronunciation part of my course review those sounds the p and the b consonants the t and the d consonant sounds i think you can learn you need to work on pronouncing those more clearly the problem is in your language they're very different you don't pronounce them with as much air as we do in english that's the problem so you have to teach yourself to pronounce these sounds aspirations asp aspirations or the professor uh, gives following to or adaptations 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 first of all the professor says that uh, some birds like albatro have special long wings so that they can float over the wind for less uh, with less energy and for, for even longer than 11000 miles per day in order to find food for them the second professor the second adaptation professor says that uh, some birds have sense of smell for example fomus they have a tiny tube at their nose so that they can scent uh they can get scent of food uh, they can be sent food or they can send food depending on what your meaning is even though they are from, uh, far from the food place they can uh, know where the food is okay so the the problem here is you just have the delivery issues the delivery issues are getting in the way of your intelligibility right so that that's the problem so I think between two and three, speech is clear, though exhibits problems with pronunciation, intonation, or pacing, and may require significant listener effort. So if you're trying to get 26 on the speaking, right, and your TOEFL's in a few days, postpone the exam. You're wasting your money. You're not ready, right? I would not do that. It's $200. You're going to pay $200 just to learn that you didn't get your score. The same thing for the writing. If you're trying to get, I think you have a better chance on the writing than you do the speaking. But if I were you, I would cancel the TOEFL exam or postpone it at the very least. Because it's just pointless to take it over and over and not reach your goal. Get the English. Figure out these problems. You know what they are. I'm giving you feedback, right? So you have to you have to uh, uh, improve in these areas. So I think here I'm going to put you at 2.5 to 4. Uh, I'm going to put you maybe around 17 to 18 points out of 30 on this uh, practice test, mainly because of problems with delivery. So at my website, uh, you can focus a lot. I think sentence rhythm would be something you could study. You can also study intonation. I think that's important. And then thought roots and blending. But even then is not enough because you still haven't mastered all the vowel and the consonant sounds of English. So you still need to work in that area also. All right. And thank you for doing this practice test.